Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to part 2 of my epic pack opening series and uh, you know what the reason why this is considered epic a few people are like Cal why is it epic I mean they know they understand you know I got a team of the year player and a informed player uh, last part but this part and um, I pick up another team of the year player you might have to wait towards the end ish to see who it is but uh, you know um, I pick up another team of the year player and it's just epic because it all happened in the space of about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes during a live stream when everyone was watching. So, you know, it was a load of fun about opening up packs, all that stuff. You know, I'm, I'm not a big pack opener, that has to be said. You know, it's only recently when I really, you know, my, let's be honest, my luck has been really good. And EA Sports have tweeted me a couple times, you know, they, they sometimes uh, tune in and watch my live streams. And um, it's just really funny to see, you know, when I pick up a, a team of the year player, I often get uh, a tweet from EA saying something cheeky. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun and I really do enjoy, um, you know, giving you guys these pack openings and it, it, I, I don't really know what to say about it, but you know, my superstitions, I haven't developed any yet. Now, a lot of you guys put in um, a comments in the last video, like what you, what their superstition was. There wasn't a lot, a lot of people were just talking about the Champions League, but uh, one, one of the best superstitions I've ever seen. Some guy he says he always invites his niece round um, and holds her, holds, <laughs> holds his niece in his lap because supposedly when he did that once, he managed to get team of the year RVP. So he said he, every time he, he's gonna open packs, he open, uh, invites her around, which was pretty awesome. Whether it's true or not, I don't know, but uh, I just thought that was epic. And uh, you know what, I feel bad if the, if the niece is young and uh, you, you pick up team of the year RVP, just make sure not to drop her because that wouldn't end too good. But yeah, guys, like I was saying, I mean, I don't know what it is about my pack luck recently, but it has been through the roof. And let's hope it stays like that. I don't know if it will, but uh, I hope to be doing more pack o pack openings. And chances are I might do one later tonight um, because there's happy hour tonight at 7 p.m. GMT or BST. That's British time. And uh, also at 12 p.m. And the reason why they have one at 12 p.m. as well is for the U.S. guys. But uh, but um, they also do it for the U.K. guys. And the biggest thing about this happy hour is they are having a man of the match Drogba, the beast Drogba. Um, I mean, that will be really exciting to see if he's actually really good. I hope they make him like a 90 rated from an 86 to a 90. That would be immense if they just bumped him up that much. Because, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'd love to have a 90 rated Drogba in my team. Uh, I reckon he's big, strong. You know, add a bit more pace to him, give him like 86 pace or something ridiculous like that, and that would just be um he would he would be unstoppable. He'd be a better version of Ibra in my opinion. But uh, so I'm definitely going to be opening up opening up some packs on a live stream around then, hopefully. Uh, so the link to that will be in the description. But uh, man of the match, Drog. But imagine if you pick him up. If any of you guys, you know, you're watching this video after these happy hours and uh, you manage to pick one up, then let me know in the comments because I'm really interested. Let me know what you think to him as well because I, I'd like to get my hands on him and uh, just give him a go, see what he's all about see what all the hype about him uh, would be because I reckon uh, Man of the Match cards are usually pretty good. My Man of the Match Falcao was a beast. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that all turns out. But yeah, chaps and chapettes, you know, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft recently. Myself and AA9 Skills um, and KSI, aka the troll of Minecraft, who has literally almost reduced me to tears several times on Minecraft. Um, when he's literally, I've spent hours upon hours building something and he has come by and destroyed it. And I just want to hit my head off the keyboard and run away to just somewhere where there's a lot of super informed messies or second informed messies. But, you know, I, that game is a lot of fun. And maybe, who knows, on my second channel, I might do a couple videos with AA9 skills, but uh, leave a, uh, the, the channel to my, my second channel will be in the description as well. Let me know guys if you want to see that. Obviously it wouldn't be on my main channel. My main channel is strictly FIFA and uh, you know here I just, um, you know, YOLO. <laughs> I, I, I absolutely hate that saying myself, but it's just uh, it, it's just so necessary to do because uh, you know I, when I do it on live streams everyone's spamming the chat full of YOLO when, uh, when, the, when the coins come up so it's usually good fun. But there I pick up the mighty, the legend, the just the beast that is Stevie G um, so St Steve Steve's doing good at the moment and unfortunately I already have one in my club my trade pile because you know, all that stuff was full so uh, unfortunately I had to make some space but I cut all that shenanigans out because you guys don't really want to see that but there I get Shadu the center back I believe he's a center back um, I mean who anyone who plays football manager he also fits the nice CDM uh, position but in this game you know that that's one thing I'd really like to see in FIFA is a center back to CDM card now I understand 
that pretty much means you can get a center back to play striker. Like you can literally make his position striker because you center back to center defensive mid to CM to CAM to CF to striker. But you know, I, I really do think that you know a lot of center backs they can play uh, center defensive mid. And for one huge example of that is Mascherano. You know, he plays center defensive mid occasionally, but a lot of the time, especially recently, he's been playing center back. So I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to see that sort of thing in FIFA 13. Whether they'll do it or not, who knows? But uh, it's something I'd really like to see and I think would work really well. Another thing about stuff like, uh, as far as Ultimate Team, like positions and things like that go, is, for example, if I want Lens there, I just uh, I just put him into the club. If I want Lens and I have him in one team, in one formation, but I'd like him in another team as well, then I, I kind of, I don't want to have to change his formation and spend like 3k on a formation card every time I want to use that per, uh, that particular player in a different squad so maybe there's some sort of rotation system uh, they can input into FIFA 13 because I think that would be really just great because it drives me crazy when you know I have to make a new squad I've got to change their entire formation their, all their positions and everything then I'm like okay well I'm done with that squad let me go put him back into the, to, into his old one and then I've got to go and shell out about another 6k to change his position and formation so you know things like that really do drive me crazy about FIFA 12 Ultimate Team but hopefully in FIFA 13 they can really just like so smooth and iron those things out just make compatibility a lot better and I, I i really hope they do something about that so hopefully we'll, we'll just have to wait and see for stuff like that i know a few people are going to be playing fifa 13 today over uh, down in london so it'll be exciting to see the people that come back with the sort of feedback now i'm pretty sure it'll be a very basic version of fifa 13 unfortunately i won't be able to play fifa 13 um this early but uh, who knows maybe in the future i'll be able to do it and then i can give you guys a decent um decent thought on on the game and how it plays and things like that but for now unfortunately I can't but if I speak to anyone that does I'll let you guys know what they think to it and uh, how they found the game ran because I'm excited for FIFA 13 already I know there's a lot of months to come until it's there but uh, I, I I just want it already damn it <laughs> I just want it and there I get center forward uh, Giuseppe Rossi who plays for Villarreal I think it was and uh, a healing card you know I wish the consumable piles had a bigger limit as well maybe like a hundred but here it is team of the year player team of the year Hummels and yes, he is in the duplicate pile. And, uh, you know, there was a really funny comment on my last video saying, um, you know, Rui, uh, Royce, Royce, that's uh, sorry, that's pretty sure that's how you say it. Royce in the duplicate pile, Calfrizi, you bitch. And, um, yeah, it was just because, you know, I'd made the squad builder, the uh, Bundesliga squad builder. And uh, so I needed to, I needed to buy him before, but I went and sold him back. So essentially I got a free Royce. And uh, th there I get Hummels, he's a duplicate, obviously I had to buy him for my Bundesliga side, that's why he's a duplicate, but I went on to sell him for, I think it was like 130, 30k or something, but... Um, you know the squad builders there check out my channel I, you can check out the squad builder there But if you guys could leave a like and a comment for part three and all that fun stuff I'll see you guys all then bye bye and have a good day. See you guys later. Bye. Bye